this was the the prayer beads we were talking about earlier they're called tasbih so for example every time you pray if you've got enough time you could just have a seat and then do your prayers while touching each bead and moving along some people hang them um, in their cars as good luck I, I don't know if it has any luck or not but this is another thing that could tell that you're Muslim or Moroccan because Moroccans like using these a lot my mum has different colours some are longer it's just your preference really some people have small ones so they just have them around their arm and use them whenever with some people a bit more closer to God than others I'd probably been a baby probably getting told off for playing with them more than using them as as an uh, object to pray with that's it really so I was I don't know maybe four years old telling me not to bite it or not not to run around with it swinging it in my hand and then afterwards as you get older you understand what it is and then you start using it